<laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm in a world of chaos. <laughs> you see that behind me. Well, we made it up to Richmond. Yep. Decided we could squeeze this in for my parents. So that house and a whole new landscape install it's on the agenda for the next five days. Let's go look at it. Mm. Red mud. We love red mud. <laughs> Look at that picture. Yeah. So we're out here at Colesville Nursery. Just got a load of plants. Back of the truck, trailer. I got some inside the cab that are a little bit more delicate. But um, yeah, if you live near Richmond, Virginia, Colesville Nursery is the place to go. Beautiful, beautiful plant stock and uh, amazing people that help you out. All right, so shout out to Colesville and their operation is just huge. Just anything you need out here, any size you need, is gonna be here at this location. You got huts for days, guys. Nice, uh, got a house up here, for the operation center, and an indoor place also. So, found most of the plants. Still looking for a uh, coral bark, Japanese maple. We're looking for an upright hydrangea tree. And we're looking for 36 autolucan laurels. Off to the next place. Y'all be good. I'll be right back at the next place. <laughs> mm. That one's going to be awesome. Mm. We're at a different place now. Now we're at Strange's. And that's on Broad Street in Richmond, Virginia. So we're here looking for two trees, like I said, and small Lucan laurels. Let's go see what they got. I'm excited. I'm having fun. I really don't like the day of picking out plants is the longest, most tiring day. I'd rather be digging 100 holes. I'd be less tired than driving around this truck all day. But it's fun to uh, pick out the healthy plants and the cool different specimens so let's go see what we get so we did find the coral bark jack maple beautiful beautiful specimen look at that got baby leaves baby leaves coming up yeah it's 420 back of the house we've been to Four locations to find those plants all loaded up good to go i need one more location but we're going to check out what dalton and ian been doing all day ha huh. they've been out here working hard all right so look first when someone sells a house and it hasn't been landscaped yet by code that's got to be over top of all dirt okay so Dalton and Ian, all the beds all the way around the house, went through and cleaned up all the straw out of these beds. Ha. That was the easy part. Second part that did not get done correctly was the drainage systems, okay? Now, when you're doing construction, building, put the drains in before you put sidewalks and walls and whatnot because they didn't, so yeah, they did a good job. Look, so far we had one, two, boom. Two of them that were just gonna flood this whole area. All right, that was low spot. You can see it was already flooding. So we're gonna put a drop box right there boom and they've already gone all the way underneath i think let's see <laughs> 
So, when you don't have a sidewalk tool, <clears throat> you got to get that circumference to get underneath and dig. So, boom. Pipe come through, pop out here in the yard. That's solved, all right? That'll work perfect because it'll flow that way in the yard. Now, there they are. Boom. Let's go check them out. So we had to extend these 15 feet out. The bed's coming six feet out. How's your mission been, boys? Pretty great. Yeah? We got to do something. Yeah, man. Got one more drain. Sweet. It was not too hard. Yeah. We're all starving to death. Like, like I said, it's, it's 420. We haven't eaten anything. They had a sandwich or a snack or something. We had two sandwiches. But, um, yeah. We're going to unload these plants and head south side to the great big greenhouse after we get some food. So, food time. We'll be back. Check in with you soon. Yeah. Well, it's now seven o'clock at night. The missus went in to get some Starbucks. Dalton and Ian are with her. We just left the fifth location of the day. We got a nice second load of plants. <laughs> I'm happy with the plant stock we got, the health that they are. So far, a whole nother load. So far, man, we set the plants out at the house. They're looking good. I can't wait to put these foundation plants in the ground also. Uh, yeah, we'll be back. Not sure if I'll come back tonight. Today is Friday, all right. So here's the lowdown. I got a call, like I said in a prior video. I got a call Saturday morning. We lined this job up. We drove up here Thursday after we finished the last job that you saw in video. And um, plants are purchased. Tomorrow is the planting, and Sundays are fabric, and Monday is the stone you know, i'm not putting mulch my parents don't want to mulch when they're 77 78 years old right so we picked up and ordered 18 tons of decorative stone that'll be here monday morning so the mission is from the time we started working this morning till monday say a dark monday i want to be done with this project i think we can do it so yeah I'll check back in. Hey, what do you think I'm going to use for my foundation evergreen plants? Leave that in the comments. Hmm. That's a lot different than my sunsets. I don't see any mountains. <laughs> 